This video will demonstrate how you can use AQTime to determine what percentage of your source code has been executed. AQTime includes a coverage profiler that lets you easily determine whether a line or routine was executed during a particular profiling run. This lets you keep track of untested code as your testing progresses over time. It may also let you find unnecessary code that you can remove if you find that a particular method or line is never called. To perform coverage analysis of your application, you can also use the Light Coverage Profiler. This profiler is similar to the Coverage Profiler, but does not include some of the features available in the Coverage Profiler, and so it works a little faster and consumes fewer resources. Today, we're going to demonstrate how you can use the Coverage Profiler to profile your application and determine how much of your code has actually been executed. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, I've already created an AQTime project. And now I'm going to select the code that I want to profile. To do that, I'm just going to right click on this modules panel and select add module. Then I'm going to browse out on my hard drive to where the application I want to profile lives, select it, and click the open button. Okay, and now the one change that I want to make is right here in the areas panel, I want to have AQTime profile my code down at the line level, so I'm going to select by lines here. And that's going to tell me exactly which lines of code were executed during the course of my profiling run and which ones weren't. Okay, now I'll begin profiling by clicking on the Run button. AQTime invokes the Run Settings dialog where we can configure the options of the current profiler. I'll keep the default settings and click the Run button. Now you can see that AQTime has invoked my application. And this application is going to draw some fractals uh, after performing some mathematical calculations. So I'm just going to click this draw button in order to do that. Okay, I've fast forwarded a bit and my fractal is finished drawing. And now what I'm going to do is close my application down and that will tell AQTime to begin gathering coverage metrics for all the methods that were executed during the course of the run. Okay, so we've generated our results here. And as you can see, AQTime is breaking its results out into these three categories, routines, modules, and source files. So if I double click on the source files node here, you can see that we only have two source files that were at 100% coverage. If we look at the modules category, we can see that our overall application was only about 85% and change covered. And then this routines category contains results for every single routine that was included in the profiling tasks. Now, as you can see within each of these categories, the results are grouped by threads. So now let's look at the routines themselves in detail. I can see information about every single routine that was performed during the course of the profiling run. If a routine has a green marker, like what you see right here, then that means that that routine was covered at 100%. All its lines were executed. If a routine has a red marker, it means that no lines of that particular routine were covered. And if a routine has a yellow marker, like what you see right here, that means that the routine was only partially covered. So here, let's take a look at this draw click method in a little more detail. You can see that that was partially covered, as denoted by the yellow icon there. And we can see that it was about 69.7% covered. I can come down here and look at the editor panel for this particular routine and that allows me to see all the lines that make up that routine and see exactly which ones were executed as denoted here by the green dot or which ones were not executed as denoted here by the red dot. So in looking at this code we have this switch statement right here on line 66 that looks like we haven't executed all the particular variants on that statement. So we'd probably want to go through and per, uh, perform additional testing in order to make sure that we got all the various cases covered. In some cases, you may see a yellow dot in the mark column, and that means that a particular source code line is compiled into several blocks, and some of those weren't executed. Uh, typical examples of that are lines containing AND or OR statements. So let's take a look at a situation like that. I'm going to go to some saved results from a different application that I ran earlier and come over here. And as you can see, this coverage test routine was partially executed at 25%. So what I want to do is take a look at what wasn't executed in this particular routine. And so if we scroll through here, we can see we've got you know, several lines that have red dots in them, several lines that have green dots. But then right here on line 67, we've got this yellow marker. 
This line can basically be divided into three pieces. You know, the if parameter 1, the if parameter 2, and this call right here to the do action command. So the execution of each one of these options is traced by AQ time separately. So if one piece, for example, if parameter 1 is executed but the other two aren't, then the line is considered partially executed and marked with this uh, yellow dot right here. The last thing we'd mention is that besides allowing easy reference to past results, AQ time lets you merge several profiling results. So if you profile different modules of the application separately, you can then merge your results together and get the total coverage analysis of the application. To see how you can do this, refer to the video using AQ time coverage analysis in automated tests. This concludes our video on coverage analysis with AQ time. We wish you luck and hope you enjoy profiling your applications with AQTime.